What's up, everyone? I'm Dr. Paul. As most of you know, I support many charities, uh, as everyone really should. Some with time, some with money, and a whole bunch with both. Now, one charity set that I always support are homeless charities. But I'm really picky, and I want charities that actually help families and people get off the streets. I know that this may seem a little bit off based on what a lot of you here, the homeless, actually need, uh, but it really isn't that complicated. They need homes, uh, a way to earn an income, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the rest sort of takes care of itself once they have those things, uh, but that's the hardest part. So I've supported homeless charities for years, and one constant always exists, though, about the people. They want to work. They want to earn. They want to live just like you and me. They just lost an opportunity or had something happen that caused them to become homeless. And you'll be surprised how easy that is for anyone to encounter that same type of experience. Uh, to give you an idea of the challenge, there are over 2.5 million children in the U.S. alone, according to the government based on statistics, 2.5 million children homeless in the U.S. That, that's staggering. Now, along with homelessness, there's also a term called near homeless. Um, this refers to people who are literally one step from becoming homeless. I know that sounds simple, right? But let's break that down. I want to make sure everyone gets it. Uh, this is mostly related to income and savings. If you don't have enough saved to pay your bills this month, if you lost your income today, then you are at high risk of becoming homeless. This isn't a small group of people. This is a lot of people, especially right now during this plague. Most people should have three to six months of savings. So for those who have no savings, this is particularly a dangerous time. Now, this doesn't take into account debt, which can really exacerbate this issue tremendously. Although it's critical, we keep those who've worked so hard to get themselves and their families off the streets from ending up back on those streets. Uh, we also have to work to keep those who could become homeless easily during these times from losing everything. This is often as simple as a few hundred dollars providing a meal. You'd really be amazed how much just a little can do. One of the homeless charities I support is called New Beginnings of Central Florida. They have the highest success rate I've seen at getting people off the streets and keeping them there. Their program is a multi-year approach to helping a person rebuild their life. The first year is typically the hardest, and hard work is critical to individual success. Many of the people end up living in an apartment complex the charity owns and operates in Claremont, Florida. This complex is home to over 90 children who come from formerly homeless and low-income homes. Each of these children needs the exact same expensive school supplies every family needs this year. Typically, the organization is mostly capable of providing for itself. They have a thrift store and a series of fundraising events. The fundraising events have mostly been canceled, and the store is so important to the organization's finances and to their well-being that when I was told earlier this year and witnessed that the roof was leaking and destroying products, causing potential health issues, I mean, they were literally using pots and buckets to catch water all over the warehouse-sized building. Uh, after seeing that, uh, I paid to have a new roof put on as quick as I could. Uh, that was earlier this year, right before the lockdown down took hold. Keeping organizations like this functioning is critical, but when 70% of their income disappears overnight due to a plague, you and I need to help. The greatest opportunity for success these children will have comes if they have a roof over their heads, loving people and family around them, and food in their stomachs. They also need an education to fill their minds. I know most people are absorbed in politics and what's going on in their own lives right now, and that's completely understandable in these times. But please don't forget there are many people who need our help, more now than ever before. We only survive as a people if we help one another. Reliance on the government or someone else to help will only cause more homelessness, starvation to pervade our communities. Please support your local homeless and near homeless charities right now. Even a few dollars can mean a huge difference. The money I donated, even though it seems like a lot, is only a small amount of funds that these 90 children need to attend school, both virtually and in person, for the whole year. If you would like to help NBCFL, please follow the link to their page in the description below and make a donation, because only together can we rise up to meet this challenge. This plague has caused so many to lose income and face a potential of losing their homes. We can help. All of us can help.
Please donate. Additionally, all proceeds from this video go to NBCFL for the remainder of the year and pretty much any time I see income come into it. All right, the Weeble link's below. Here's how Weeble works. You sign up, you get a free stock, you fund it, you get a second free stock. I also get two free stocks. So what I'm going to do for the rest of the year and from the beginning of the year, which is three stocks, in case you're wondering, um, I'm going to donate all proceeds I get from stocks I receive from Weeble. So when you get your two free stocks, I get my two free stocks, I donate the equivalent money every month to NBCFL. It's a win-win scenario, and it's an easy way that you can give even if you don't feel comfortable donating. And I understand some people don't feel comfortable sending money over the internet. That's fine. You're, you're of course, always welcome to send directly to your charities. They, they love to receive your money, but they really love to see your time also. So if you can help with that. Uh, and, of course, through Weeble, you can help that way. And every month, I'm just going to go ahead and publish. Uh, I'll let everyone know, I'll put it up through YouTube, so you can see exactly how much we've made through Weeble and how much has gone to the charity. I warn you, it's not a whole lot right now. Like I said, I've only received three stocks so far this year from this. Uh, we're a very small channel right now. But as we grow, hopefully we're able to help. And hopefully we're able to help more charities. This is just one that really needs our help right now. So please like, subscribe, and share this post as far as you can. The more likes we get, the more people see it. Hopefully the more people then donate. The more shares you make, hopefully someone donates. Um, again, this is to help all of us. Homelessness isn't something that just impacts those people over there, whoever they happen to be. Homelessness can impact any of us at any time if we're not prepared. Preparing is important. That's one of the goals of this channel. The goal is to help you so not only can you have a good retirement, can you make a, a lot of money and have fun doing it, but I want you to be able to provide for your family that level of security that means that you're not going to experience homelessness and hunger. Those are two of the worst things that anyone can, can feel, and yet we have the ability to solve it, so please help me. And with that, I hope you all have a great weekend. I hope you've had a, a good week, even though it's been very tumultuous through the stock market this week and through uh, all the politics and other stuff going on. So I hope you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.